Oily hair is one of the most common problems my clients have. They're stuck with heavy, dirty, oily hair that they have to wash all the time. I teach them how to have fresh, bouncy hair that stays clean for days. It's a much healthier, much easier way of doing things. Let's get into it. Proper shampoo strategy. I have a client whose scalp naturally produces a lot of oil and there are a ton of people out there like that. It's totally normal. It does not mean that you're stuck with oily hair. I got to talking with her one day and she said, Chris, I know you recommend going three days between washes, but there's just no way I can go that long. It's impossible. I told her no problem. We can set you up with a routine to fix all of that. She says to me, no, you don't understand. Even two days is super gross. I'm really pushing it even going two days. Three days, I just, I can't do it. I feel disgusting. We ended up getting into a long conversation, but basically I had to explain that going longer between washes did not mean suffering and dirty, oily hair. She's like, oh, okay, that's great, but I've already tried everything before. It's not gonna work for me. I told her that if her hair was getting that oily that quickly, it was almost definitely because she wasn't getting her hair all the way clean in the first place. Fresh, clean hair is just like that saying where one bad apple ruins the bunch. If you leave even a little bit of oil in your hair after you wash it, it's gonna spread really quickly and make everything gross way before it should be. That was the absolute last thing she ever wanted to hear, but believe it or not, a ton of my clients get stuck here. They leave a little bit of oil in their hair and it messes up their entire routine. The reason for that is most people are never taught how to tell when their hair is actually clean. They're kind of just winging it and hoping that it's clean because it's really hard to tell. So here's how to know if your hair is clean. Imagine eating off a plate that isn't all the way clean. Imagine getting dressed in the morning and you realize that your clothes aren't all the way clean. That's absolutely disgusting and you would never settle for almost clean on those things. You shouldn't settle for it with your hair either. With dishes, it's really easy. You can look at them and see if they're clean. With your clothes, you can smell them and tell if they're clean. But with your hair, it's much harder and it's not obvious at all. So I'm gonna show you the exact same trick that I showed my client, which took her from washing every two days to washing every four days and made her hair life so much easier. Like we said, the key is knowing what to look for. But for any of this to matter, first of all, you have to be using a professional shampoo because drugstore shampoos do not get your hair clean. If you're struggling with oily hair and you continue to use drugstore brands, there is absolutely no hope. The ingredients are so watered down, they don't do anything. Really, all they do is mask the smell and keep your hair oily. You have to use a professional shampoo. So your pro shampoo routine is going to look like this, and the first thing that you're gonna change is you are going to go to two washes. And a lot of people freak out here, like two washes, why do I need to do two washes? And the answer is that oil is really, really hard to clean. If you've ever tried to clean a really greasy pan by just rinsing it, it doesn't work doesn't work at all. The reason for that is the oil and water do not mix. You have to put some soap on there and then scrub it in. And if it's very oily, like your hair, you're gonna have to wash it twice to get it fully clean. So on the first of those two washes, you're just gonna do everything normally. You're gonna put your shampoo on your scalp. Make sure to get in there with your fingers. Don't put any shampoo on your mids or ends. You're only putting it on your scalp. You'll notice on this first wash, you're not gonna get that much suds and lather with your professional shampoo. And I'll tell you why in just a second. But if you're using a cheap drugstore shampoo, you actually will get tons of suds and lather because they have fake ingredients to fool you into thinking that you're getting your hair clean. So after you're done with the first wash, you're gonna rinse your hair out and then go back in for your second wash. And this time, you'll notice that you get much more suds and lather, but you have to wonder, why is that? The answer is that lather and bubbles are only produced by your professional shampoo when it can't find any more dirt or oil to bind to. In other words, clean hair will produce lots of suds and lather because there's no more oil or dirt in your hair for the shampoo to bind to. That means suds and lather are a signal to you that your hair is clean. If you're not getting much lather, if you're not getting many bubbles, that means that your hair is still dirty, you need to keep washing. That's why you get almost no bubbles on the first wash, and then on the second wash, you get lots of bubbles. The key is to keep going until you get lots of bubbles. If you stop before then, your hair is still going to be dirty. It's gonna get greasy really quickly. The moral of the story is to follow the suds and lather. That tells you when your hair is clean. Try this out on your next wash day and see how much cleaner your hair stays. 
Let's talk about brushes. I used to have a stylist who would absolutely rave about boar bristle brushes. Sorry, I struggled to say that because she said that they would redistribute and remove oil all over your hair to make it much healthier. There was only one problem with this and it was that her clients would get excited and they would ask her like, oh my gosh, which is the best brush to do this? It was kind of funny because she would be totally stumped. She didn't take this advice herself. She didn't redistribute any oil or anything like that because that's not really a thing. She was just repeating hair advice that she had heard in the past. And a lot of people do this. They just repeat old wives tales that they've heard. And this is one of the worst ones. Brushing your hair does does not remove oil. You don't want to do that. You don't want to redistribute oil all over your head. If you're not convinced, go ahead and smell all the oil up here. See what it smells like and ask yourself if you want that smell to be all over your hair. I promise you, you do not. And I know somebody out there is like, Chris, hair oil is so healthy for your hair. Why would you not want to spread it? You do want oil on your hair, but use the product. It smells much better and it's much healthier for your hair. Plus, if you struggle with oily hair, you wanna keep all of that bad oil right in one place so you can come in with dry shampoo, neutralize it all in one go, get you an extra couple of days out of your hair. One final note on brushes is that you want to be cleaning these things. Over time, they end up collecting oil and build up all the way up in there. And if you use that dirty brush on clean hair after you wash it, it's going to make it dirty again right away. All you have to do is fill up your sink with hot water, a little bit of soap, a little bit of shampoo, let it soak in there a little bit, and then scrub it so it's clean again, makes your life so much easier. So please, wash these every once in a while. You don't have to be a maniac about it, but make sure to clean them when they get gross. Clarifying shampoo is a really powerful tool to fight oil if you know how to use it. When I was coming up in the hair industry, we were all taught the clarifying shampoo was basically something that you used once a month to help you get rid of product buildup and give you a nice clean feeling. When they were telling me this, I was screaming in my head like, what do you mean we only want to get the hair clean once a month? Like, don't we want to always have clean hair? Can you imagine getting in the shower and being like, I don't need to clean my body that well today. I'll just wait a month and then in a month, I'll take a really good shower and get it clean then. That strategy is completely ridiculous. But luckily, more and more stylists are realizing that every day. And I'm trying to lead the push towards helping my clients understand how they can use this on their hair and their normal routine to make their life easier. The clarifying routine. So here's how you use this in your normal hair routine. First off, you have to understand that this is much stronger than a normal shampoo. You put this in there and it pulls out a ton of oil Oil from your dirty hair. Because this is so strong, you need to be careful with how you use it. You can't just go all willy-nilly because it'll dry your hair out if you use it too much. That's why you can only ever use clarifying shampoo on hair that's actually dirty. If you use this on hair that's only like a little bit dirty, it's gonna be overkill. It's gonna be too strong and you're gonna risk drying your hair out. So knowing that, the absolute perfect time to use this is on your first wash. When your hair is still really, really dirty. Clarifying shampoo goes in there, does its thing, and busts up a ton of dirt, a ton of oil, which clears the way for you to do your second wash. Clarifying shampoo drop for drop is stronger than regular shampoo, but it's not more expensive. So if you use this, you can use less of it to get your hair clean and save your regular shampoo. You just need to remember that this is only for your first wash when your hair is still really dirty. If you use this on your second wash, wash, it's going to be overkill. It's going to be too strong and you risk drying your hair out. Only on the first wash. Avoid irritating your scalp. A really common but not that obvious reason people struggle with oily hair is they're accidentally irritating their scalp and when your scalp gets irritated it produces extra oil to protect itself. Really all you want to do to it is when you're shampooing your hair rub it with your soft fingertips. You can get in there but you shouldn't be using any sharp or hard objects to poke into your scalp. You may have seen some of these scalp brushing routines on TikTok where they take this brush with hard bristles and just go over the scalp for like 10 minutes. 
but don't do that. It's supposed to increase blood flow and make your scalp healthier, but there's a reason you never go into a salon and see a stylist going for 10 minutes brushing their client's scalp. By doing that, you are way, way more likely to irritate your scalp than to ever do anything good. There's nothing wrong with stimulating blood flow to your scalp, but you really wanna do that when you're washing your hair and just use your soft fingertips. Don't use anything hard or pokey or anything like that. Scalp scrubs. The hair care industrial complex loves trying to tell you to buy more and more products every year. And right now, they're pushing really, really hard to make scalp scrubs a thing. And the worst part is that they market it as something to help you get your hair clean when it's not true at all. Scalp scrubs serve no purpose at all if you know how to wash your hair properly. If you wanna see an entire routine, you can watch this video right up here. If you wanna try a scalp scrub for fun because you like doing new, exciting things, absolutely go for it. But you should know that there's a chance that they'll irritate your scalp. I have a couple clients who actually messed up their scalp doing this. It's just not worth the risk because there's no benefit. Long story short, scalp scrubs do more harm than they do good. Your scalp is actually sensitive. You need to take care of your scalp. You don't need to do anything extreme. Just take care of it by washing it properly. Training your hair. This is one you may have heard of before, but washing your hair too frequently is going to dry your scalp up. And when you dry your scalp up, it produces extra oil to compensate, making your hair even greasier than it was in the first place. You get stuck in the cycle where your hair is more greasy, so you wash it more often, and it just gets more dry and produces more oil, and it's kind of hard to get out of. You hear people say that you need to train your hair so you don't have to wash it as often. And this is almost always never the case. The only time that training your hair actually works is when you're washing your hair too often. Because if you're washing your hair too often, you'll dry out your scalp. And dry scalps go into overdrive to produce more oil and actually get oily faster to prevent that dryness. So if you've actually got into the cycle, you kind of have to grin and bear it and just wait three days to wash. It's gonna be really greasy at first, but your hair will go back to normal. But if this didn't happen to you, you can't just train your hair to go longer. You can only train your hair to go back to normal. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. If you're wondering which products you should use in any of these routines, make sure to check out my recommended product list. It has a hair type quiz to help you figure out everything and exactly which products are best for you. Don't buy anything until you check that out. Have a good one, guys. Take care.